Hi everyone, here's a quick video on our ne next layer mask uh, cutout video that we're going to do in Pixlr. It's a little bit different than the last one we did. We're not cutting out images to add them to another image. We're just going to cut out an image within an image and leave it there so we can separate parts of the image and uh, make different adjustments, let's say to the background. So we can cut out, this car was in a full color image, but we're able to cut it out and we separate it from the background and then we desaturate the background to make it uh, grayscale or black and white in the back. Now it's a very popular effect with wedding pictures and such like this, that I'm sure you've seen something similar like this before. All right, so you're gonna open any image in Pixlr and that can be an image you find on the internet or go ahead and use an image that, uh, or a photo that you've taken. Uh, I'm gonna be using a photo that I had on my phone from a wedding about five years ago. I went ahead and emailed it to myself and then downloaded it, saved it uh, to my Google Drive. Or if you have Google Drive on your, on your mobile device, you can just upload it right to your Google Drive on your phone and then come to your Chromebook and go to work on it. So here's what we're gonna do with this one. We are gonna make two copies of the image. So I need three layers total. And I'm going to uh, rename them. The top one is whatever, it's, whatever the image is, just call it something appropriate for the image. We're gonna have the background and then we're gonna have the original at the bottom. We're gonna be using the cutout mask and most likely you're gonna to have to use the draw mask um, brush to remove the background on your top layer. All right, for this one, do not choose an image with a solid background. We did that for our last assignment and the magic wand works real easy for cutting something out if, the, if it has a solid color background. When all the pixels are similar, it's just real easy. So yes, I am trying to make this a little bit harder on you uh, to try to learn these other tools. All right, and you do need to, and then we're gonna change the background layer properties. All right, make sure when you screenshot this, I can see all your layers. And here's the file name, your initials, so like whatever your initials are, and then mask two. And I would like you to turn in the original image also. All right, so let's go ahead and open up my file. So here I am in Pixlr, and I'm gonna go to open image. If you're gonna pull it from the internet, you could copy the location, the address, the image address, and copy it there. But I'm gonna, it's, my image is already in my Google Drive. So I'm gonna open image. And I'm going to scroll down to Justin and Angie's wedding in Breckenridge, Colorado. It was a beautiful wedding. The greatest part about this wedding is it wasn't real formal. They did not spend a lot of money on fancy stuff. They really spent uh, actually a lot of time focusing on the food and barbecue. They were originally from Texas. So the food was great and just had a good time with friends and family out in this beautiful uh, place out in Colorado. Uh, it, was, it was a full, like weekend of wedding just hanging out eating good barbecue not spending a lot of money on stuff that kind of goes away in a day hey all right let's go ahead and get started on this i'm gonna go ahead and make two copies like i said so if i go to my black arrow i'm sorry my selection arrow which is white arrow i'm gonna click duplicate and i'm going to duplicate it one more time right here so i now have my three layers now if you want to uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna rename them and the very bottom one the very lowest one i'm going to rename this that was a right click double click and I'm going to call this original um, single click right click double click delete enter there we go so we got the original this is going to be my background that we're going to edit and then my top ground my top layer this is just I'm going to call this uh, we'll call this couple all right all right, so let's go ahead and turn these other layers off. And what we need to do is I need to separate. I'm, we're trying to make, you're choosing something in your image to make it the emphasis. You're gonna make it stand out by leaving it in color and doing something else with the background. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to my cutout, my clipping mask as I call it, like Photoshop. And I'm gonna try something a little bit different. Um, actually, as you can see, if you try to use the, well, let's use the magic mask. And if you can see the magic mask, it might work for a little while it grabs pixels that are similar shade, right? But then when we get to areas like this, with these dark trees, if I click on these dark trees right here, I don't know if you can see this, but it went ahead and deleted Angie's hair also. It was a very control Z, it's a very similar shade. And same thing goes with her dress. If I click in this uh, grass area, there's these browns, it's going to come and, and remove a lot of these pixels that are, or the uh, pixels that are similar to the dress color. So, that this is and this gives us a bunch of specs so 
let's go ahead and I'm going to undo this. I'm going to do it a different way. So a quick way to do that is come up here to these three dots, these like little settings, and I'm going to click on them and go to reset. I'm going to start over. All right, back fresh. Okay, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to go over to the draw mask and I'm going to click on the add to mask. Now what happens in this one is, I'm, oh, that did not work. Sorry, the zoom level works differently sometimes. All right. Let me use the navigate over here. I'm going to zoom in now space bar. And I'm, when I click on the add to mask, it should paint in green and it's going to add certain parts to my mask. Now I actually have my, this hint remove turned on. This is what you might see when you start clicking the add to mask. When you're on your brush, add to mask, this is what you'll see. And whenever you paint, you're going to add it to the image you're going to see. All right. But when it's like this, you can't see what you're doing. So I'm actually going to click on this hint removed and that allows me to see through the image. All right, let's go ahead and zoom in some more. I'm going control plus. Now there is a cool little trick, um, the comma and the period on your keyboard. So I use a mouse, which I highly recommend. I could use, I could leave my left hand on my keyboard and I'm going to use that is the comma and that is the uh, period to make my brush bigger and smaller shortcut. All right, and I can match things like I can get my brush to sort of match Justin's head right here. And that allows me to, let me check what my spacing is, step. Yep, I got to turn this step down. That kind of makes it chunky, all right? Your softness should be turned down. Step should be also turned down. And I'm going to come here and brush. And it's just adding to the mask. Now to get details like his shoulder right there, I'm going to decrease. So I'm going to go comma, 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 comma. Chameleon, nope. All right, add to, add to, then I'm going to go ahead and brush this out. Now, you obviously, for the sake of this assignment, I'm going to spend time with this. For sake of this video, I'm going to do this fairly fast. Oops, oh my gosh, that got really crooked there. So again, like I said, this is going to be just a quick, this will be a quick, um, please take your time for this assignment. Um, but for sake of this video, I'm going to control minus, control minus, minus, minus to zoom out. And I'm going to go period, period, period to make this brush bigger. Let's go ahead and get Andrew's dress. Space bar, drag down, grab the dress. And for Justin's pants, comma, comma to decrease the brush size. Again, please take your time. And okay, so I'm just going to go with that for the sake of video. Now I'm going to turn off the hint removed. Now you should have a layer with just your subject cut out, whatever, you, whatever you're choosing to do. Um, and now I'm going to turn on the, this background. Again, leave the original alone. Let's not mess this. Let's leave it locked. There is a way to unlock this, but we're going to leave it locked. And I'm going to turn this layer on. And as you can see, it almost lo it, this looks exactly like the actual image because it is, again. So this one is just the background. And then I have my cutout on top. Let's turn them both on, but I'm going to come to my background image. And this is where what you're going to experiment for this assignment is, you know, you we can do things like I'm going to come to adjustments. Let's go to hue and let's go to saturation and we can desaturate this image completely to take all the color of the background. And now we have the complete emphasis on this couple right here at this wedding. Now, obviously, this picture is such a beautiful background. I don't know why you do want to do this, but some people, you know, just for sake of artistic fo uh, photographs, you know, they like to put an emphasis on this. All right, so what are some other options we could do? Some people might like to go to, uh, I'm going to come over here to filters, details. I'm going to go to blur. And what we can do, again, make sure you're on the right layer over here on this right side. And I'm going to go ahead and add a blur to it. And for certain images that might work like that, uh, control Z, play around with something that you like. You could even pull up your effects, maybe not so much for this nice wedding, but if you wanted to actually, I'm going to add a night vision. This is kind of a fun one, night vision and combine it with a desaturation and we could kind of have a, nope, that's way too gloomy. I'm not going to do that for a wedding picture. All right. Now you could try several items. You can make a copy of this layer right here. I'm going to right click, duplicate image, and try different things. Uh, I'm gonna call, well, let's call this background one. Oops, let me try it one more time. Background one, 
no, that's an extra space in there. Background one, enter, and come over to this one. Right click, double click on copy, and let's just type two, enter. So try different things, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave this as, um, as a desaturation. All right, so you could choose any image you want, grab a pictures of some friends, grab a car, grab anything that you want to stand out. Again, you are not adding anything. You're not changing this image. You're not bringing in, I'm not grabbing them and putting them somewhere else. You are leaving your image the same, but we're just separating it into parts. Like here we have the couple and we have the background so we can edit each piece uh, separately. All right. Please let me know if you have any questions.